Right then, let's have a look at the charts, what it's all about, the magic, the magic that is charts. Let's clear the decks a little bit. <coughs> this is your, you may recognise this, this is your, your training chart. This is RYA chart number, number three. Quite a big chart, as you can see there. I'm just going to use the bottom half of the chart to make it a little bit more manageable. There we go, that fits nicely. With respect to charts, first thing to appreciate that with every chart, the, the chart is configured to point due north. The top of the chart is due north, true north. You've got east, you've got south, you've got west exactly as per the, the compass roses that you see dotted around the chart. The top of your chart is always pointing to north. When it comes to position fixing, let's have a look at how we go about doing that with latitude and longitude. Um, the latitude scale on the chart runs down the edge of the chart down here. As you see down here, so hey, this is the latitude scale, excuse handwriting, latitude scale down there. And across the bottom and across the top of the chart, this is our longitude, longitude scale. Not to be confused. Latitude is north or south of the equator. Longitude is east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. When it comes to the scale that we use, well, the latitude scale has an additional use for us because it's also our method by which we measure distance. So the latitude scale, one minute of latitude, for instance, is one nautical mile. So one of these, one of these little markers you see on this, on this particular scale chart, one of these, that's one nautical mile and smaller increments are decimals of it. So between here and here, for instance, if you measure them up, you've got one, two, three, four, you've got five, five minutes, that's five nautical miles. Due to the way that the chart has been constructed, you must only ever use the latitude scale up either side to measure distance, never ever use the longitude scale which has been stretched to accommodate how the, uh, the projection of the chart has been made. So always latitude for distance up there. So as an example, if we were looking for the position of 46 degrees, zero, zero minutes north and zero, six degrees, zero, zero minutes west. Well, latitude first, you locate 46 degrees, zero, zero minutes there, which is here. And we've got this parallel line drawn across the chart for us here. This is a, a parallel of latitude. And then along the longitude scale, zero, zero, six, which is here, run the two together. That's where it is there. That's 46 degrees, zero, zero minutes north and zero, six, zero, zero minutes west. Now, obviously, it's not always going to be nice, easy numbers like that. Um, each degree is divided up into 60 minutes and each minute is then subdivided into decimals as well. So we can go down to a high degree of accuracy with the decimal places, etc. Right, let's have a little look at a practical example of plotting a position. So say, for instance, our GPS told us our position was 45 degrees, 48 decimal zero minutes north, 005, 45 decimal zero minutes west. To plot that on the chart, well, this is where our plotter can come in here. And you'll notice that within the construction of the plot, we've got these uh, this lattice that's been printed in here. These are parallel to the edges, to what we call the working edge of our ruler here. So locate on the chart the latitude, which is 45 degrees, 48 decimal zero minutes north. So 45, 45, 46, 47, 48. It's that little point there on there. And then slide the plotter across and line up the 
vertical line or a horizontal line through the chart with that on the plotter. So I've just lined it up here, down through here. Okay, slide it, make sure the working edge of your ruler is on the mark, hold it nice and tight, double check your, your accurate, and then draw the line across, like so. Not too heavy, because you've got to rub that out in a minute. Okay, so that's the latitude of 45 degrees, 48 minutes north, and the longitude is five degrees, 45 minutes west. So on the longitude scale down here, here's five degrees, and we want 45, there we go, that's the the marker there, put a little mark on the chart if it helps. And again, with the plotter, slide it in place and line up so that the grid, the lattice lines up with the grid of the chart, like so. Make sure it's all nice and parallel through there and draw your line up, like so. Where the two cross, there we go. That's our position there, right in the Neptune channel as it turns out. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it informative. If you'd like to give us some feedback, we'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, keep a look out for number three in the series coming up, charts, the details and abbreviations. See you soon.